Are you good? Yes or no? Yes, I think I heard mostly yeses, and that is fantastic. And if you did say no, that's okay. I'll send you some love. Okay, today we are going to practice some ending sounds. That's right, the sound you hear at the end of a word. Okay, so you will need your helper, which is the grown-up that's with you, to help you get your supplies. We only need three letters. That's it, three. We need R, N, T. That's it. You could have them on a note card, a piece of paper, little letter tiles. Whatever you have available will work. So go ahead and have your helper, get your supplies, and meet me back here so we can check our schedule. Okay, friends, let's check our schedule. We only have one job today. We are going to practice looking at some spooky items or pictures. <gasps> Ooh, and then we're going to listen for that ending sound, the one at the end of the word. And when we get to the star, you know we'll be all done. So let's go. Okay, friends, let's get started. Make sure you have your letters R, T, and N out in front of you, and let's do it. Okay, our first word is, ooh, looks like we have a bat, bat. Okay, now this time in this video, we are looking for the ending sound. That means it's the sound you hear at the end of the word, so not the first sound. We want the last sound. Okay, so let's see, b, a, t. Bat. T -t -t. Okay, look at your letters. Which one makes the t, t sound? Ooh, okay. I heard a lot of friends say T. Let's give it a try. Let's see if it works. Okay, here we go. B, at, bat, bat. Is this a bat? Yes, it is. Excellent job. Okay, let's see what's next. Ooh, okay. Looks like our next picture is a monster monster. Okay, now we want the very ending sound, the last sound that we hear. Monster. Er, er, er. Hmm. Okay, monster. Er, er. Okay, I have an R, a T, and an N. Which one says er? Oh, nice job. I heard a lot of R's. Now let's put that there and let's try it and see if it works. Here we go. Monster. -er -er. <gasps> is this a monster? Yes, it is. Excellent job. Okay, now you might have noticed there's some little dots here. I put these here because usually we have ER together when we are writing this word. But because we're only working with one letter, we just used one for this video. But typically, the ER sound also says er. Okay, let's see what's next. Here we go. Ooh, okay, looks like we have a ghost. Ghost. Okay, let's look at our word. We need that ending sound. Ghost. T -t -t. Hmm, which of these letters makes the t, -t sound? You show your teeth when you say this sound. T -t. Oh yeah, I heard a lot of T's. Okay, let's see if it works. Let's try it. Here we go. Ghost. Ghost. <gasps> Is that the last sound we hear? Oh yeah, okay, we got it. Let's see what's next. Ooh, okay, looks like we have a bone this time, an actual little small bone. Okay, friends, now, this one looks really weird because we know we're listening for that last sound, but there's an extra letter. I made this letter a little look a little different because you don't hear an E at the end of this word. You don't hear it. It's like magic. You do not hear it, okay? But this E, it makes this letter say its name. Otherwise, it would say ba. But since that little magic E is right there, it's going to say bow. So here we go. Bone. Bone. So this is the last sound that we hear. Because remember, this one's magic. We don't hear it. Okay. Bone. N. N. Hmm. Which of these letters makes the N sound? Ooh, okay. Let's try it. Let's see if the N works. Let's try it. Let's give it a whirl. Okay. Let's try it. Bone. Bone. Oh my goodness. You all got it. That was amazing. Okay, let's see what's next. 
Okay, looks like we have ooh, a spider. Oh my goodness, we know Mrs. Huey does not like these. Okay, here we go. We have a spider. Spider. Okay, now oh, oh, we saw this earlier. We know that it's going to be the E, one of these letters, to make that sound. But for right now, we're just focusing on that last sound that we hear. So spider. Er, er, er. Hmm. Which of these letters says... Oh my goodness, that was so fast. I didn't even get to finish asking the question. I heard so many R's. Okay, let's put it there. Let's see if it works. I think y'all got it. Okay, here we go. Spider. Spider. <gasps> is this a spider? Yes, it is. And remember, meow, that ER will go together. <gasps> but for this video, we just wanted to focus on that last letter that we heard. Okay, or that last sound that we heard. Silly Mrs. Huey. Okay, ready? Let's see what the last word is. Okay, our last picture, we have a pumpkin. Pumpkin. And yes, I know this is a jack-o'-lantern because it has a face on it, but the face, it's on a pumpkin. So for this video, we're going with pumpkin. Okay, and we need that last sound. So let's try it. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. N, n. Hmm. Which of these letters makes the n sound? Oh, I heard a lot of T's. Let's give that a try. Let's see if that works. Okay, let's try it. Here we go. And T says T. Let's try it. Pumpkit. Pumpkit. Hmm. Is this a pumpkit? Oh, no, that doesn't sound right. Okay, let's move the T. Let's listen one more time. Pumpkin. Hmm. Which letter says N? Oh, I think I heard it. Okay, I heard a lot of N's. Let's give it a try. Here we go. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Is this a pumpkin? Yes, it is. Excellent job. Okay, let's check our schedule. Check schedule! That was awesome. We got to practice looking at spooky pictures and items, and we really had to listen so that we could hear that ending sound. And I was pretty excited with the pumpkin because when you carve it, it makes a jack-o'-lantern, and you hear that end sound at the end. Now, important question, do you like to carve pumpkins? Ah! Oh my goodness, I heard so many yeses, it knocked me backwards. Whoa, I like to do it too, it's pretty fun. Okay, let's check that off. Ready, check. Okay, oh, and look at that. We made it to the star. You know what that means. We are all done. Big heart for you. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can learn with Mrs. Huey. Bye. It's Huey time. Bye.